Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. Once you have created an estimate and the customer has approved the estimate, you can use the estimate to invoice the customer. You can either send them an invoice for the entire amount or you can send out several invoices for smaller portions of the estimated amounts. Doing this is called progress invoicing. Progress invoicing, which is sometimes called progress billing or partial billing, allows you to invoice for jobs that you work on and complete in phases. When you're using progress invoicing, you start by creating an estimate for the total job. Then when you complete each phase, you can easily transfer items from the original estimate to an invoice for billing. You can specify which items to include on each invoice and change the estimated amounts or percentages of each item. When you use estimates to create progress invoices, you can also run reports to help you compare your estimated cost and revenue versus your actual cost and revenue on the jobs that you're tracking. To create an invoice from an estimate, one way to do it is to simply create an invoice and then just select the customer job or the customer that has the job. and you'll see the available estimates window appear. Here you can select which of the estimates for the customer or customer job you wish to use for the invoice and then click the OK button. Now this will then open the create progress invoice based on estimate window. Now within this window you can either create an invoice for the entire estimate amount which is a hundred percent or you can choose to create an invoice for a percentage of the entire estimate or you can choose to create an invoice for selected items or for different percentages of each items. Now if you choose the second option you do need to put in what percentage of the estimate you'll be billing in the percent of estimate box. If you choose the third item when you click OK you'll need to then go in and put in the quantities, rates, or amounts that you're going to be billing within this particular invoice. When you're done, you would click OK. And also note you might want to change the template to show a progress invoice with a prior percentage build, current percentage billing, and other information. Once again, just like any other invoice, you can mark it to be printed or you can print it directly at the time. And when you're finished, just click Save and Close. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.